love to see your face. Here I am. You wanted to see me? Yes. What can I do for you? Give me back my husband. Give me back my husband. <laughs> You're wondering which one he is, eh? He is a red man, not very tall, but he wears glasses. He's a lawyer. Your manager's lawyer. Errol is his name. Oh, yes, 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 I know him. I've met him, yes. I know you have. I know you. Give him back to me. I am at a loss because I, I don't quite see how I can give you back your husband when I don't have him to give. But you know him, it. That don't mean I have taken from you. Of course I know him. You, you dropped my last contract and it seems to me I've seen him once or twice since then backstage. A rather nice looking, well-spoken red man. Glasses, you have glasses? He probably took them off. He wanted to look his best for you. He is in love with you. <laughs> he never takes them off when I am around. He doesn't care how he looks when I'm around. If you wasn't so stupid, I would be very, very angry with you, you know. Where you get this idea that I take your husband from you? So so then, wait this, wait this then, watch it, wait this, wait this. I, that looks like your panty. I found it on his desk this morning. It's not mine. Patsy, 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 you mustn't cry, Patsy, don't cry. You steal my husband and I mustn't cry. Patsy, this is a very interesting case. What is? Yours. Mine? What do you mean? He just plays on your fear and jealousy to regain the love that you deny him. He leaves a, a fake panty on the desk and fake text messages. I mean, trust a lawyer never to do that kind of thing unintentionally. By the way, he have any text messages from me? Well, yes, on his phone. I read them all. He probably write that for himself. <laughs> um, oh, I, I didn't know you were such a good woman, eh? Listen, I am neither better nor worse than any other girl, even though you consider me such a monster. I, you know, for a minute there, I thought you were going to come over here and cut my ass or something. <laughs> I was... I was coming to plan us here. That is what I was going to do. Okay, okay. Well, I'm I'm so glad that we, you know, we have an understanding. I mean, you're looking a little silly standing there with a cutlass and tears in your eyes, eh, Gil? Listen, Gil, go home and tell your husband you love him, all right? Just go home and give him what he wants. No, the man needs some attention. Yes, maybe I should do that. Before you go, Patsy, I want to give you a little parting piece of advice. Don't let him fool you like this again, okay? He won't. You don't have to worry about that. Listen, no matter what receipts you find or what you find in his pocket, whether it's a letter, whatever, my photograph, whatever you find on his phone, no matter what gifts or money he seems to be sending me, just remember, don't get taken a second time, all right? Mm. You may be sure of that. And... You won't say anything about our conversation, right? Of course not. Not a word. I don't know how to thank you. Oh, don't, don't worry, Patsy. Don't worry. This is just between us girls, okay? You make me so happy. Oh, I, I totally lost my husband. Oh, <laughs> I'm so glad I could help. All right, my dear. Well, I have lots of things to do, okay? Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs> All right, Errol, you could come out now. Your wife gone. Come to mama, baby. <laughs>